Hi, my name is Kim Graham, and I'm the Executive Director of the Arizona Educational Foundation. And joining me is my dog, apparently, and Kareem Neal, who is a special education teacher at Maryville High School. And I know Kareem because AEF is the coordinator for the Arizona Teacher of the Year Awards. And Kareem is infamous. He is the 2019 <laughs> Arizona Teacher of the Year. Hi, Kareem. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I love that I am infamous. <laughs> you are. And we are here today on behalf of AZ Ed News Teacher Conversations. And it's my pleasure to be able to interview you. And I am wondering about your thoughts, Kareem, on bonds and overrides. How do those benefit schools? Um, so bonds and overrides are, they become such an essential part of Arizona um, school funding because our state funding isn't that great. So that's why you probably hear about bonds and overrides a lot. And if you came from a different state, you might not have heard about it as much. But um, so bonds and overrides are funding sources. And for instance, like with overrides, which is probably what you see the most, um, there's overrides for maintenance and operations, which would be buildings and of course, teacher salaries and things like that. There's special overrides for programs like um, special education, physical education, arts and music, um, capital overrides for like furniture, technology and things like that. Um, and several things about overrides, because like I said, that's what you're probably seeing and hearing about most is that um, because of our school funding and how you know we don't get very complete funding we are i think fourth lowest funding or fifth lowest funded state in terms of education through the state um, you probably heard of overrides a lot and when you see overrides a lot of times the override is just kind of an extension of an override that happened years prior so it's not always kind of this small increase um, of taxes, but it, it is always a super small increase and it goes directly to those things. So it's not, um, it, you don't, I don't think you have to worry about where the funding goes because if you read about the override you're voting on, you will know where the funding goes. It, 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 it's not one of those things where it can be, you know, oh, all the people at the top got all the money. So it's, it's, they're really beneficial to schools. They're usually relatively specific so that you know exactly where the money's um, coming from. And bonds are similar. Um, like with, with bonds, they're a little different because it's, it's bonds issued and purchased by investors um, and money um, gets repaid over time, but they do the exact same thing, which of course is give our schools the funding that they don't normally have. So, I mean, I've always voted um, for overrides. I mean, I'm a teacher, so it sounds easy, but it also would affect you know, my taxes and things like that, but I know how much it does for a school. We, we had an override um, in Phoenix Union. The last one was quite a few years ago, but what you saw happen as a result of that, what I saw happen in special education particularly, not necessarily with my salary, but in special education, all of a sudden we were able to really purchase some of those things like refrigerators for the lunches of the students with special needs who have special lunches and microwaves and things like that. And, and I know people don't think about those things with schools, but they're super important. So as a teacher, as people are looking at their ballots and they see those bonds or overrides on the ballot, they can rest assured that that money will go directly into the classroom. Without a question. And I, I would say, like I would say, you know, try to listen less to talking points you hear on TV, whether it be from liberal people or conservative people, and actually just kind of read um, the literature that comes with the ballots because it actually explains it. And, um, and, and, and on your own, you can even, you know, Google search what an override is. There's no real way of painting it in this negative thing. You know what you're getting and you know what you're giving. So, um, so yeah, I think it's clear cut and it is super beneficial for schools. Well, thank you, Kareem. That was very enlightening and we appreciate you helping us understand the importance of bonds and overrides. So thank you for joining me. My pleasure, anytime. And it was mine and Kareem's pleasure to be part of AZ Ed News Teacher Conversations.